Today, we will embark on a fascinating journey through space and time to unravel the mysteries of Venus, the second planet closest to the Sun. Get ready to discover how this planet, once considered Earth's twin, transformed into a true inferno. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button to support us. Venus, named after the Roman goddess of beauty and love, is a planet that arouses curiosity and, at the same time, challenges expectations. Contrary to many assumptions, Venus is not only the second closest planet to the Sun, but also the hottest of all, surpassing even Mercury. The image captured by the Venera 13 probe provides one of the few glimpses of Venus's scorching surface where the probe survived only two hours and seven minutes before its electronic systems melted due to extreme temperatures. However, we have an intriguing question. For you, which planet is most similar to Earth in the solar system? While Mars is the top choice for many, often associated with life and the preservation of the human species, Mars is the focus of almost all current manned missions. But the correct answer would be the planet Venus. Although it is now a hellish realm with acid rain and temperatures reaching 500 degrees C during the day, Venus shares notable similarities with Earth in terms of size, mass, density and composition. Yet, another interesting question arises. If Venus is so similar to Earth, what happened to turn it into the inferno we see today? To answer this question, we need to take a journey through space and time. About four billion years ago, the solar system was forming from a gas and dust nebula. Some unknown force destabilized this cloud, causing regions of it to collapse under its own gravity. The theory of a nearby supernova may have influenced this process. Most of the mass of this cloud gave rise to our Sun, while the remaining 1% formed planets, asteroids and natural satellites. Venus and Earth, being close to the Sun, likely formed when nucleus first condensed, capturing material around them. However, the inner part of the solar system was a chaotic battlefield, with planets colliding, asteroids falling into the Sun and fierce competition for survival. In this scenario, Earth was fortunate to receive a crucial impact that formed the Moon, stabilizing its rotation. Venus, on the other hand, was also impacted, resulting in a retrograde rotation opposite to that of Earth. This change in rotation profoundly affected conditions on Venus. A day on Venus lasts 243 Earth days. The absence of moons also prevented the stabilization of the rotation axis, depriving Venus of the seasons we experience here on Earth. Other factors contributing to Venus's transformation into a hellish environment include intense proximity to the Sun, leading to the evaporation of any existing water and placing the planet outside the habitable zone. The lack of tectonic plates was also a crucial factor in turning Venus into a hellish place. Tectonic plates play a significant role in geological cycles that regulate atmospheric gases, such as carbon dioxide, and the absence of tectonic plates on Venus led to the extreme concentration of carbon dioxide in its atmosphere, creating an intense greenhouse effect. Additionally, volcanic activity on Venus contributes to high temperatures, capable of melting lead on its surface, and sulfuric acid rains complete the infernal scene. However, an unexpected twist emerges. Recent research suggests that Venus, at some point in its history, may have had tectonic plates. These plates could explain the amount of nitrogen present in its current atmosphere. Scientists speculate that two or three billion years ago, Venus could have been habitable, similar to Earth. The story of Venus is a fascinating narrative of changes impacts and extreme conditions that turned a sibling of Earth into a true hell. The lack of tectonic plates seems to have been the primary culprit for this transformation. In the end, the search for life and the understanding of habitable planets gain new perspectives in light of these revelations. Is life more common than we imagine? Or is Earth a rarity in the universe? Questions like these encourage us to continue exploring the mysteries of the cosmos. 
I hope you enjoyed this journey through the solar system. Don't forget to leave your like, share the video, and of course, subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the upcoming episodes. Thank you for joining us, and until the next space adventure.